Hello pineapples, welcome back to my channel. So everyone, the people have spoken and I am more than willing to answer you guys. Um, it seems that the bag videos I create for my channel are just a huge hit. I love that simply because I love bags. So the thing that I'm most passionate happens to be the same thing that you guys love to see. I really wanted to talk to you about my first huge designer purchase. Um, I actually purchased this bag a few months ago, but I wanted to sort of break this video down in five different categories. One, I wanted to do an overview of the bag. I wanted to do the pros, the cons. Um, tying in with the cons is exactly kind of what the title is, why I regret buying the bag. And lastly, I want to tell you guys how I was able to afford a Louis Vuitton bag on a very moderate budget. I am not rich, y'all. I'm not wealthy. So to be able to purchase this designer bag in a way that made it so that I didn't break the bank, I feel like is a secret that you should all be let in on. And I will tell you about that at the end of the video. But for now, let's get into the video. So let's just get into the bag. This is not a what's in my bag. It's simply an overview, okay? So this is my first Louis Vuitton bag. Um, I have coveted a Louis Vuitton bag since I was 12. I am 29 for reference. So well over a decade, I have wanted a Louis Vuitton bag and I was finally able to make that dream come true. Um, I did not purchase this new. I purchased this pre-loved off of The Real Real. I will link their site down below and I will talk more about it at the end of the video because that's partially how I'm able to afford it the Louis Vuitton Deauville bag. So that's what this model is called, it's Louis Vuitton Deauville. Um, this bag, guys, was actually generated in 2000, so it is hitting 20 years this year. It's a 20-year-old bag. And I must say this about Louis Vuitton, having never had one, but now knowing that this is a 20-year-old product, this is incredible. It's a phenomenally aged bag. Um, I, I don't think I've ever had any bag for 20 years, and I don't believe that many other bags would have held up quite like this one in 20 years. So hats off to Louis Vuitton for creating this product that is just absolutely stunning and it has just withstood the test of time. Um, the handles and the leather on it, it's a vachetta leather and it's patinaed very well. It's got this very nice like golden honey uh, coloring. There are some like water stains on this. This is how it came, but truthfully guys, and I'm OCD about my bags, like don't get me wrong, it didn't really bother me considering what its age is and just how many years this bag has withstood. A couple like spots, just it didn't, it didn't really bother me. So I'm almost positive the Deauville is also a model that Louis Vuitton has retired and no longer makes. Now this is the Deauville bag. It is much larger. They do have the Troville bag, which is half the size of this bag, but similar in terms of its style. I believe it still has this front compartment, the same handles, um, just on a smaller scale. Let me just give you an overview. They, it comes with handles that are just meant for the like crook of your arm. Um, it cannot go on top of your arm. I mean, unless you have really skinny arms, I guess. I don't. So it does not fit. There is a spot right here, guys, that you'll see. It kind of has this hook. The back has the same thing on the opposite side where you can get a uh, crossbody strap. Now, to buy that from Louis Vuitton is quite expensive. Um, I love this bag because it's got compartments. So we have the front, and then let me show you the inside really fast. So it's got these two zippers. So this is the inside of the bag, guys. We have two compartments here, and then if we turn it around, we have another two compartments. This is uh, the tag with the date stamp, so you can tell it's authentic. And then here, guys, you'll see you have these like bands, right? So let me give you a small history about this bag. This bag uh, was actually designed to be a small carry-on bag. Now, your girl doesn't have that kind of money, nor does she travel all that much to just dedicate a Louis Vuitton for her travel bag. Uh, but women have actually taken this bag, and a lot of them have actually used them as handbags. Um, and what's nice about that, too, is because I find that a lot of the Louis Vuittons do not come um, with very many pockets or little organization things like that. So this makes it nice uh, to actually take all of your things and organize them. I find that when I do carry this bag, I don't have to carry as many pouches because for example, I carry a pouch dedicated solely to hand lotions. 
I don't need that. I literally just put them into the pockets and these pockets are big enough and deep enough that they carry a whole pouch full of items. And because it was designed to be a carry-on bag, the interior is actually really durable. Um, it's kind of got like a slick sort of feel to it. So it kind of like you can wipe something off. It, it goes on there. This bag is not horribly priced. It's not necessarily a design that most people go after. Um, it's not a speedy 30 or never full. So these tend to come a little cheaper uh, than your traditional and most coveted designs by Louis Vuitton. So now that I've given you an overview of the bag, let's go over the pros of the bag, shall we? So first and foremost, uh, the pro obviously is that this bag has withstood 20 years and looks like this. I cannot think of another bag that could go 20 years and look this great. Um, I love the fact that this bag comes equipped with so many pockets. I love this front. I tend to buy bags, I say I don't travel a lot, but it's funny because I, I love to buy bags with travel in mind because I do love to travel. I wish I did it more. But um, I think of a bag in terms of its airport use and how quickly can I get to my boarding pass, my license, my passport, depending on where I'm going. So I love that this bag has this front pocket that kind of stays there when I don't need to be into it, but is easily accessible for those things that you need at the airport. And that I don't have to bother with the zippers and going in and out of these compartments in order to get what I'm looking for. So I really love that. I love the dual zippers. I love how wide it goes. I love, um, I've mentioned this in other videos, I love bags that are wider versus taller. So I love that about this bag. Um, I can get really into it. I can see everything that I need and it's just absolutely fantastic. And it's just an icon bag, guys. It's one of my dream bags. Um, I've always wanted a Louis Vuitton. I was never super specific or picky about the design, just that I really wanted one. And it's just, it's absolutely gorgeous, especially for the price. Um, I actually stayed within the three digit numbers. I didn't even go into four. And if you're a Louis Vuitton crazed person like I am, you know how expensive Louis Vuitton can be. So if I say I stuck within the hundreds versus the thousands, that's pretty good. So let's get into the cons of this bag. First and foremost, I hate the fact that it doesn't have feet. My Target bags have feet. Why don't Louis Vuitton bags have feet? Okay, I'm just saying. Um, and I actually feel like most Louis Vuittons don't have feet. So I don't, I don't really understand that. Uh, that's never something I've actually researched. Maybe I should. Why does Louis Vuitton not put feet on their bags? So maybe I'll come out with that in another video, but neither here nor there. The zippers guys can kind of get a little stiff. I have put wax to them, so I'm hoping that with time they do kind of loosen up, but for now they are kind of, they can get not stuck per se, they just are a little bit difficult in terms of getting the bag open. This is something that it's got nothing to do with the bag itself. I should have actually like researched more and gotten something of a different design because I don't like the fact that it goes like this, this high. I prefer a bag that is either crossbody backpack, preferably backpack, or onto my shoulder. Um, and this just doesn't do it. And it's not the bag's fault. It's mine for getting a bag that just really didn't meet my needs in that regard. I don't like how heavy this bag is. So by itself, this bag definitely has some weight to it. Now obviously, we have top of the line, um, hardware, things like that. So there's a lot going on with this bag to make it heavy, but when you put all of your things in it, uh, and I have made it no secret, I love carrying a whole bunch of stuff. So to have it all in here, I mean, it gets, it's a workout. I mean, who needs a gym when you have a Louis Vuitton Deauville bag and it is just so bloody heavy. These bags are not as durable as I would like them to be in the sense that you really should not carry them in the rain or in the snow or anything like that because of the Vachetta leather. And I live in the Midwest and it snows and it rains oftentimes in a single day. Um, so that kind of can get extremely difficult considering the weather that I have to deal with. Let's get into why I regret buying this. Now I want to tell you guys, it has nothing to do with the bag. Nothing whatsoever. So all of you diehard Louis Vuitton people out there, please refrain. I'm not hating on Louis Vuitton. I'm absolutely not. I think these bags are iconic. They're beautiful. Clearly they're well made. This is again for the 15th time. 
20 years old. They're, they're gorgeous. They're such high quality bags. The problem is with me. I think it is in buying it for myself how much I realize that my tastes have changed um, in that I really love bags that are conversational pieces because of how wild they are. I love bags with studs, vibrant colors, unique, crazy, weird designs. I literally, guys, have a bag that looks like a sushi platter and it gets looks and it gets comments all of the time. I think that's just where my tastes have gravitated towards and I thought in my head that the Louis Vuitton was the end-all be-all bag and while it's absolutely stunning and I'm going to say nothing negative about the brand um, and I think it's perfect for some women who just want that timeless iconic look which there's nothing wrong with um, I just really love bags that are just really loud. And this bag just doesn't, it doesn't do it for me. It's very unique for sure because of what it is. Um, it is an iconic piece. It will never go out of style and in and of itself that makes it unique. Um, it's just, it's not for me. Um, I debate selling it, but I also really love having it. It's just something that I've always wanted, wanted in my collection, but I, wonder if it's fair to keep it in a closet for as often as I do. Overall, it's just simply not something I would purchase again. Now, that being said, you want a Louis Vuitton, but you don't have $2,000 to drop on a Louis Vuitton. Girl, guy, honey, I got you. So visit the real real first and foremost not even if you're just a bag person they have so many different designer items that you can buy shoes clothes homeware home design i've talked about the real real before i'm going to talk about it a lot i love this site i think everybody should know about it um because it just makes things so much more accessible for the average joe and josephine all of the items are authenticated so you know you're getting the right thing the real thing and you're not just throwing away hundreds of dollars on something that they haven't verified so that in and of itself i think brings a whole new piece to the purchasing process you can buy these bags uh thrift stores or ebay or poshmark or wherever um but who's authenticating them who's verifying them. The Real Real has an entire team doing that. So that in and of itself, I think speaks wonders. But the best part about the Real Real guys is that they offer you a payment plan. So that's how I was able to buy this beauty. It's the best thing. I haven't seen any other sites likes or similar to the Real Real offer that. Um, so you're able to break your purchase down into smaller increments and pay over time. They have a three month, six month or 12 month loan type and it's just it's it's awesome it just breaks it down into more chewable smaller pieces i think a lot of companies are starting to do this it makes the items so much more accessible for everyone and that's what i just love about the real real i think that they have made designer accessible for re the rest of us anybody from the real real watching this please feel free to sponsor me i talk about you all day every day super positive things so <laughs> your girls right here hi anyway guys that is my louis vuitton bag on to the next one